Fellas, we start last night at the Scotiabank Saddle Dome with the finale of the season series with the mighty Ducks. And it was not a Picasso, nor was it a star-studded showing from the Flames. Kind of interesting, the plumber heroes for the Calgary Flames. We talked about it on Afterburner last night. Rhett and I in these very studios. Uh, unlikely sources for some big goals for the Flames last night. Milan Lucic to tie the game uh, early in the third. and then. With two minutes and 38 seconds left, Michael Stone. Uh, this was the muckers night at the office for goal scorers. I was ripping on the fact that Lucic was on the ice when he scored. <laughs> I honestly was. I'm like, how can you have that fourth line out there? It's a must-win game. Third period. Open. Ciao, Go, hey! Ciao, hey! <laughs> I don't, we, hey, nobody is upset that Lucic scored. We're all happy for him. I still wonder why he was out there. But awesome. Michael Stone as well has missed a lot of time with injury, and we saw him get back onto the ice at practice before the Vancouver game. Um, look, he's not an all-star, but give a guy credit. Yeah, his one tool is that shot, and he let her rip. That's the that's the great skill he's got. We talked about it. He, you can separate your Michael Stone from a lot of demons in the league with that shot. And and get and, and another uh, tr he's a PTO for uh, for Michael Stone. It's in the drawer. Just got to sign it next September. <laughs> Just bring it up. We yeah. know how this works, right? That's right. Uh, let's move along. Ryan Pike tweeting out the uh, the magic and tragic numbers for the Calgary Flames. A quick primer on that magic number: how many wins combined with Winnipeg losses do you need to get into the playoffs? The tragic number: your losses and Winnipeg wins to be eliminated they're getting a little closer these two numbers flames uh, six and a half is the total you need flames wins winnipeg losses you get two of those if you beat them in winnipeg on wednesday that'd be a good move eh you get a calgary win and a winnipeg loss yeah. i see yeah, yeah holy moly yeah holy jumping what, uh, what if you lose though what does that do to you don't do that no tragic numbers um, that go up I, or down again glass half full is tough but you find a way to do it all the time don't you oh, i just wonder i mean yeah. you're, you're building the can just and there is good reason to wonder what would happen if the jets win dean because the jets have been flying of late uh remember that three nothing loss against san jose it's like what the fuck is wrong with the jets that's an ugly loss we were doing the post game i think at uh, gray eagle that night it was like, oh boy, they're going to hang on here, aren't yeah. they? We're updating the score. one nothing, 2 nothing, 3 nothing. Well, the Jets got home and opened a five-game homestand. First two games, pretty good. You know, if you like um, six goals a game. There's, uh, that's tonight's schedule. Okay, not yet. Uh, Jets winning 6-2 and 6-1 in their, their first two of the homestand. Calgary next. They're off yeah. till Wednesday. So they're feeling good now. Yeah, they get a couple of days off and feel good yeah. about it. I, I don't like how the Jets are performing. It's disturbing to me. I was really hoping for that slide to continue. And all the guys we were talking about who weren't pulling their weight and like, ooh, something's wrong. It was Wheeler. It was Shifley. Yeah, it was scores. Ehlers. Scores. It was Connors. All those guys all over the score yeah. sheet, those two games with 12 goals total. So look out. They're feeling a little better. Just win, just win Wednesday, Flames. Just win Wednesday. Mm -hmm. uh, here nice is Snug. Here's your standings. Take a peek. Western Conference. There's your Jets schedule. There I see is, that. Yeah. Six one against the Devils. Six two against Detroit or is that Chicago, right? Have a look. I tell can't us about tell this. anymore. Yeah. Freaking Hawks. <laughs> Flames, Preds, and Sharks, the remainder of the homestand. And there are your standings. 87 points for the Calgary Flames. Two back of the Jets games even. They play each other Wednesdays. We told you a thousand times. And finally, the Flames have passed Nashville on points of percentage. Hey! Yay! Yeah, Nashville's got a fucking wagon of a schedule. Real quick, Dallas, Vegas, Carolina, Winnipeg, Calgary, Minnesota, Colorado. Oof. Oof. Tease and tease. Everyone else has got like five left. They got seven, so they got to play more, more often. And those teams. That is a tough slog for a team that still doesn't have Roman. See, that's about? the thing about having games in hand. Oh, the thing is, you got to, more games to play. Is that what it is? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. You got to play more. On that. You're not great at math, so I don't I'm know if I could trust that. Assault trust, on me. that. trust me. Let's go to some NHL news. I don't know if this is good news or bad news for the Toronto Maple Leafs. So Matt Murray, who they brought in from Ottawa, uh, watch this play. Not looking good for the Buds netminder as he takes a little bonk here, Rhett. And it looks kind of innocuous, but the more you see it, you're like, ooh, he doesn't like this. Trip in the crease. Ouch. So, he's a bit of a hurt bag, eh? Is he a bit of a hurt bag? He's a bit of a hurt bag. So Matt Murray went down. Other injury news, Sean Monaghan. Remember the Habs? Oh, how savvy. They're Is just going to fl flip this guy for a first. Mm. No, he's been out since December. They shut him oh. down for the year. 
free agent this summer. If you want to recoup that asset, that poor kid is done. You feel for the guy. It's kind of the territory. Like what's he looking at? Like one year, 2 million surgery again. Like how many, how many is that? I feel like this is four seasons in a row that have ended with surgery. He's had hip, hip, wrist, wrist, both hips, wrist. Yeah. Well, and clearly the hip, hip, hip is affecting the groinal region because now it's groin surgery. Yeah, like, you're compensating. No good. Yeah. More no yoga, places. Sean. More yoga. Talk to Less. Serge. Come on. Yeah, yoga. that's right. Vikram. I want to see this Murray guy get clunked because I didn't see it. Yeah, I didn't see it. That's a problem is we don't have it. So we'll oh. move along. Tonight's schedule in the NHL. Not a lot of games, but goodness, there's a big one for Flames fans. Do you want to put on your Dallas Stars gear, Rhett? No, I hate the Stars. Well, you're going to like them tonight. They play oh, Nashville at home. <laughs> You'll hear more on that. I'm not our... worried about Nashville. Yeah, and after hearing that schedule, I'm kind of the same. If as they can you. get to 97 points, then... And they got they, more games to play. They're too tired. So right, many Dave? games. They got so many more games they got to play. A lot of games. God, so many games. They had that one weather game where they had to cancel it from way back in the fall. And that's what's been tacked on to Friday. Oh. So I think they were supposed to end their season Thursday, and they just gave them a back-to-back and a day luck. later. Just a huge disadvantage yeah. to have to Oof. play all those extra games. Oof. So many more. Uh, let's go to the Western Hockey League. Playoffs started this weekend. Calgary Hitmen lose game one in Red Deer. Game two tight dean like tweet zero zero one one off to overtime can the boys get a split coming home come on hitman come on come on that's right yeah hurry hi no so we don't have this either is that what i'm are you texting alex that'd be no, helpful no okay. i'm not you're doing okay. your taxes what's going on there no just keep doing your goddamn report yeah, I'm trying, but there's no video. Leave me alone. Oh, I don't want to see this. Pittman went it in overtime. They're pumped up. They're coming home tied. So Game two. Here it is. Now McAdams in the slot. Adazinski scores. David oh, Adazinski man. goes top shelf. And the Calgary Hitman yep. get the weekend split. They win game two to one. This series is tied at one game apiece. Do you want to oh, tell him what Cam Link's doing for a little now? Right yeah, it's not important. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you're right. It was Cam. <laughs> yeah, that's right. It was Cam. Sure. Yeah. You think the boys are fired up? Red Deer, what, a two seed or three seed? This is big favorites. Here's the hallway after this. Tanner? No, it's someone else with a bad shoulder. <laughs> That's uh, uh, so they're coming home split. They play tonight in the dome, Dino. Let's go, yeah, Hitman. Let's go. Split. That's what you want. Start on the road. Get that split. Who's that bald guy in the back there? I didn't see. Um, you personally. What? You've been a favorite. You've been an underdog. Do you like starting on the road in that best seven? Just all you do is got to win one, then you're coming home, or do you like favorite? I don't know. I don't care okay, uh, because cool. I was never intimidated by starting on the road. We could start in Philly. It's like supposed to be the toughest building in the world to play. In. Bring it on, you bastards! Let's go. That's right. I don't like that underdog. Like I'll get his win one, and we've ruined everything. Let's go. Yeah. Uh, speaking of Western hockey, you're gonna hate this. Red. I don't like it at all. I don't know why you're bringing it up. No one cares. No one cares. He's overblown. Here's Connor Bedard in his second WHL playoff game. Rat. Get it. Skin at hockey. Don't hurt your ankle. It's decent. Yeah. Yeah, there's uh have third. Disposal. Shagru is down. Here's Bedard in front, shoots and scores. <laughs> Connor Bedard goes Just... upstairs, short side, stick side on Austin Elliott as Mr. Shagru hunched over his stick left along not the far boards after he had uh, that was Bedard not there. he wasn't done there right he finished with three goals and two oh, helpers. Well, because he had two on Friday in I game think. two. That's right. So he's got yeah. Eight I, points I through uh, games one and two, and the underdog Pats come back to Regina up 2 0, Dino. Apparently, the Holy. Bedard led Pats weren't too intimidated by the 15,000 plus in Saskatoon. All wearing Bedard jerseys? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a decent stretch, eh? Overblown. I will remember that. Nice. Get a 98 oh, Hawks jersey goodness. with overblown on the back. And not as good as McDavid. <laughs> No, the other guy, he, he was better. Yeah, so, I mean, yeah. if he's not as good as McDavid, why are we talking about Don't bother drafting him. He's not yeah, McDavid. I'm just going to leave you disappointed. He's not McDavid. Pretty good start, right? Seven seeds or whatever it is. Yeah, punch him in the mouth. Provincial rival, solo crowd, love it. Uh, okay, so yeah. What do you love? What are you talking about? That's what you love it. 
listen, I know you love the blades. This is like a future NHL star going off in the playoffs and you called him overblown. It's perfect for the show. What are you talking about? Uh, we'll move along. Did you see uh, real fighting and fake fighting got together on the weekend? Awesome. I did. This is a weird and I think kind of amazing but confusing partnership. Uh, the UFC and the WWE United as one. A $21 billion merger or takeover, whatever you want to call it here. Uh, how's your ROI there, Vince? Uh, put in a million to buy the WWE in 82. It was WWF back then. But, mm. uh, $9.3 billion he gets. Oh, Holy. Oh, Vince worked his ass off for that money. Good for he you, sure Vince. sure did. And look, Shuster. it was a publicly listed company, so he's not getting all that. But he, uh, he's done quite well, I'd say, Rhett. He's awesome. He was, always, yeah, he was, was one a, of my favorite. How was great uh, heel? He's a great heel. He really good, really good. Yeah. Plus and, the, the, the and Rob Kerr. The falling out of the chair gif was just sensational. That meme is mm -hmm. giving so much to society. On top of all of his work in WWE and then the ring and all that. Yeah, they announced that thing this morning, and like there's a, the parent company, and then UFC and I guess WWE are going to branch off into their own thing. And the thought being, you'll see a lot of mega weekends where you sure. set up the gear for a UFC pay-per-view on Saturday, then the WWE on Sunday. And it's, it makes sense. I mean, it's, from an event standpoint, it absolutely does. Yeah. What I would ask is I think there's a lot of hardcore fight fans that are like, why are we associating with fake fighting or like scripted stuff? Like, do you what worry about the credibility of UFC at all? Less than Snoop Dogg laid down the people's elbow sure over did. the weekend. There's yeah. nothing scripted about that. He got pissed off Fair and enough. took it into It'll his own It'll be cable deals, in... pay-per-view deals. Yeah, the business side makes sense. The business sure. side makes a ton of sense. Now, did you did you watch any of it? No. Yeah, how was it? You, tell, you keep telling us about Snoop Dogg. You must have seen something. I just saw the Well, thing. the reason Snoop Dogg did the thing is poor Shane O'Mac oh, came out to, uh, to fight The Miz. Yeah. So you had the hosts of WrestleMania. You had Snoop Dogg and The Miz. And on the Friday night... Snoop Dogg threw him under the bus, called out Pat McAfee, and McAfee really? kicked the, the hell out of him. And Jeez. then on, uh, I guess it was last night, calls out Shane O'Mac. Shane O'Mac goes off the uh, off the ropes, does a leapfrog, comes down, blew his leg out. No. Oh. Torres, like, ruptured his quad. Jeez. So hit the ground, couldn't get out. Stretch. He's not doing enough yoga. So then they had to, you know, pivot. Good on all Snoop Dogg. So the punch, that was, uh, Im that was improv right on the spot. Really? Is that scripted? Yeah, I tell you what, if the UFC can learn anything UFC? from WWE, yeah. it's like you could some career longevity shit. Like some of these wrestlers we're talking about, they're fucking, they've been He's doing a, this for 30 years. Get that going to the UFC. Guys disappear after five years. Let's Snoop's go. a WWE Hall of Famer. I want to see uh, George St. Pierre throwing an elbow at WrestleMania. Let's go. Let's Why go. was I thinking about George St. Pierre the other day? He ain't doing nothing. Ben 99, that's something. That's why. It's old. We're in his last Not for a wrestler. It was all defense. He wasn't trying to really yeah. win anymore. Oh, well, he was a tactician, yeah. Oh, great. Come on, George. Well, he's, he's old for UFC. Yeah. Yeah. So then now he can just over in the parent company and work for another 30 years. He can't years. work the stick. Maybe not in the Anglais. <laughs> not in the Anglais. <laughs> you need to be uh, able to cut a promo, George. Speaking of other Canadians, very good at what they do, but maybe not great at work. Well, this mm. guy's great at working the stick. They... Corey Connors wins on the PGA Tour again. Four years from his AD win on tour, does it again. And why is it good to win the Valero Texas Open? Masters. Because it's the fucking Masters Week. Welcome to it. Imagine the piano music. And with Masters Week comes many things. Napping on couches. Can we play that? We can't even play that. It's copyrighted music. Now. Son of a... I don't think we were supposed to last time. Uh, that's so yeah. good. Yeah, there's... Different licensing for radio stations that have music. Uh, what we can tell you is you can get a piece of the action as the Bart Burner Masters Pool is already up and running. Come on. You already got like 100 people in. Tweeted out the link this morning. Check Flames Nation socials, our social media, whoever's around the Barn Burner account, get her going here. Shut your mouth. You're coming down Magnolia Lane. Look at this. Into the Masters Pool we go. We'll announce some prizing tomorrow. What? Very simple. And we got some fun pools. Like you got to pick one of the dickheads from the live tour in one of the boxes. You got to pick a live guy. You got to pick. Uh, you would be one of the dickheads from a hundred percent. You would too. <laughs> Fuck, I would kill to be one of the dickheads. Hey, do you want to go to no cuts and we'll give you 200 million? Or do you want to keep grinding Christ. and playing for free when you miss the cut? No, I'll take the 200 million. That's fine. What do you need? Like, are you kidding me? Who wouldn't clean out some trash cans? What do you need done?
Like seriously. Yeah. Yeah. So what's how much is this uh, this pool this match? It's free. Oh uh, what? Sign your ass Nothing up. Nothing in the world free. You can't get it's free better anyway. than free. If you're good at it, we're gonna give you shit. And oh. there's prizes. That's right. Why? Uh-huh. Why? Uh-huh. So uh, it's exciting. Follow the links. I could give you the update. How many people are in here? Could it's you? Blowing up. Love it if you would. I know you'd love it. This is very exciting. You should me. be a big Masters fan. I don't know if you are. I've never heard you go into the in depth about it, but this is right up your alley. It goes like four all days. day. All, yeah. yeah, like it's my favorite. Oh, okay, okay. And it's a special because you remember when Tiger had the chip and the ball on the lip and then goes in that mm-hmm. whole thing. That was, bump. Oh, that's right. That's when your kid was born. My first born had just come home. I was exhausted sitting in the old recliner in the basement. Converted. Had him all snuggled up there. He was snoring away watching Tiger. Were you full of piss and vinegar before your kids were born, or was the exhaustion Has it always, always been like there? this? Was it? Well, I was doing mornings then too. But before mornings, even I you... think so. Yeah. Like vim, I a lot of vim and vigor. Yeah. I don't know what those two words mean, but more vim. Yeah. Well, that's a cleaning sure. product. That one. Yeah. Right? <laughs> more yeah. vim than vigor. Okay. Yeah. Not familiar with vigor. No vim now though. Nor yeah. nor vigor. No. Salt and vinegar delicious yeah, yeah, more yeah, of yeah, that for sure God. Starving. so join the master's pool and finally some uh some kickers for the weekend we start with uh well have you heard of larping Rhett? do you know what larping is i love to larp i'm a big larp tell fan. dean what larping is he doesn't know what larping is no this is your segment you okay go ahead. so it's kind of like make-believe olden days fighting with fake swords a lot of um interesting people in ken LARPing. hitchcock no is he larping he loves the LARP. He likes a good LARP? Mm-hmm. Wow. Civil War guy. What was the Paul Rudd movie where the LARPing thing? I Love You, Man? Was that it? Not sure. Oh, sorry. come on. I'm sorry. It's a I tag? Don't... Watch a goddamn movie. Um, it's with like the, their dress up in the, yeah, like this shit. Okay, so here is, so to set this up for Alex, uh, this is LARPing. Everyone's dressed in costume, pretending this is some medieval, medieval war, except he's got glasses. I guess the technology in the 1400s was better than we thought. And uh, listen to what they find and how they try to solve it. This is usually done in big parks and things to simulate, you know, not living in the 21st century. Yeah. Of our tournament where my friend John said he found a body in the bushes over there. I ran over there because I'm a healing monk to try and help, but obviously my magic wasn't strong enough because the dude's body was missing a head. So my friend decided to try and use a necromancer spell, which didn't work, which I knew it wouldn't. And apparently we contaminated the crime scene because that spell uses a lot of glitter. <laughs> a lot Is that effing real? There's a lot to unpack there. A LARPing tournament came across a, de- a, a beheaded body. And rather than, you know, come out of character and call the police, they tried to work their magic spells I on I can't it. believe that spell. That guy's a shitty ne- 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 necromancer. necromancer. Yeah. Or it was an April Fool and it got us all. But either way, I really liked it a lot for the Pinder Report. <laughs> Thoughts and prayers to the well, boy's head. As I say we prayer. have a, what was it? What is this called again? LARPing. L- LARPing. LARPing. I, we got to have a big LARPing tournament here. Yeah. I think we should call it the Barn Burner LARP Stravaganza. LARP, yeah. LARP, yeah. LARP, yeah. LARP, yeah. LARP <laughs> Awesome. Once the weather changes, I don't do it in cold. Uh, Rhett was at it again. I didn't realize how smitten he was with the shoveler, but he was in L.A. Uh, renewing his vows on the weekend. I told you wow. she wanted to. Yeah, so you said. More well, and he knows he's back in town. He's been talking to Justin yeah, yeah. Nova. So yeah, here he is. Yeah. Uh, odd place and time, but, you know, to each their own. I'm not here to judge, Dean. No value judges for me. So He's a romantic. I know so that. He, I think he went down to a knee and tried to propose again. It was. Did you? Uh, if you're gonna propose, you gotta get you on. Gotta a get knee. on a knee, yeah. yeah, on bended knee. Wasn't that? Uh, we'll uh, we'll provide that maybe tomorrow. To I feel like that might not have gone in there. Call oh, well, you're calling for something that you didn't send. <laughs> Someone <laughs> should send it to us. We uh, we'll move on. Yesterday, oh, there oh. it is. First ski day of the year. Found our favorite run. Zoom in, uh, Alex. If you can, Rhett, I want you to read the sign. Dean's blind. He's got no chance. Oh, Keep I zooming. Keep zooming. Yeah, yeah. Keep ah. zooming. <laughs> There's one called the Sunshine Coast. Yeah. There's one called the Glade Runner. And in the middle there, looking beautiful. Afterburner! afterburner. What a Sunday. It's a sunshine. So it's a black run. Is that black? Oh, I ooh. Ooh. can't be taking the kids down the block yet. No, you can't do that. Longer skis this year. Send them trouble. down there. And yeah. if you got a favorite run, the question would be, do you have a favorite chair left or maybe even a favorite chair number? So this is my uh, numbers-obsessed uh, hockey fan, Blake. Let's have a listen. 
Oh, what's your number are we? 71, walk it in! Walk it in! <laughs> That's right. Walk it in! <laughs> Even the, uh, the chairs at Sunshine had some Walker Durr action on chair 71 there yesterday. So uh, there's Pinder Report. I love it. <laughs> Got to send that to the Flames. They'd love that thing. <laughs> the Pinder Report is brought to you by Village Honda in the Northwest Auto Mall, paying top dollar for your vehicle. They got a million dollars to do it. Sell them your vehicle. Get a tropical cruise for two. You get paid 24 hours. No obligation. Find out more at villagehonda.com. Your dealership for life. Life. <laughs>